what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you how to make a logo on photopia but before we start i am now on fiverr you can hire me to make things for you i can make graphics uh like banners I can make profile pictures and i can make logos so if you guys want to order them each of them start at £4.29 and I can deliver them really quickly. So go ahead and visit the link in the description. Anyways, once you're on photo up here, you want to go ahead and click new project, set the size to 1920 by 1080 and then set your background color. I just normally have mine on like a gray like this. So now you want to use uh, the text tool and import your text. So what I'm going to do is set the size to 240 and I'm going to get my font which is bold strong. I'll link it in the description. Anyways, I'm going to type out my text. Okay, so my text is going to go ahead and be birthday tycoon. So I'm just going to center this in the middle. Control J to duplicate. And then I'm going to click on it again and type out simulator. Oops. Simulator. I spelled that completely wrong. Right, and then I'm going to center that one as well and just make it a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so now we have our text. What you want to do is go ahead and click the link in the description. It will take you to flaticon.com and you want to search for a vector. So in this case, I've got birthday simulator. So what I'm going to do is search up the word birthday and see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's came up with cakes and all sorts. What I think I'm going to pick is maybe a birthday cake, just because they look really cool. So I'm going to download the PNG, free download, and then it should download. Go back into your photo up here, and just drag and drop it. There you go, we've got our cake now. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to click on the birthday text, blending options, uh, gradient overlay, and then we're going to go to that gradient overlay, double click this box, and then select the color you want in this case i'm going to use this color then i'm also going to use this color over here that is it the thunder vector okay and then i'm going to rotate it however i want i think i'm going to do it like this um that should be fine click ok and then do the same with the simulated text in this case i am just going to do the the sponge so we'll go like that and then we do the other one as well bam birthday simulator so now we have our text i'm gonna hide the cake and we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the birthday text and move it down a bit uh, we might want to move the simulator text out of the way uh, and then you want to drag the one that says copy underneath birthday right click it blending options get rid of the gradient click color overlay click on this text and just find a darker shade of it so I think I'm going to use this one right here and I'm just going to make the text look better I'm going to make the 3D smaller um, there we go right so now what you want to do is click uh, right click this and click polygonal lasso select make sure you have the copy layer selected and um, then you just want to join all the gaps so I'm going to speed this up and uh, yeah Also, to colour them in, just go to your brush tool and then click on this colour and make sure the harness is all the way up and rasterize it, turn your size down and colour it in. Like Okay, so I've done birthday, uh, it looks a bit weird, but you know what, it's fine, it's for a tutorial. Uh, I can make it better when I'm not rushing, but since it's for a video, I'm kind of rushing right here, so um, I'm just going to colour this last bit in and move on to simulator. You just do the same thing with simulator. Go ahead and, um, you know, 
Click on it. Control J. Oh, I need to get that. Control J. Copied area is empty. Um, I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's because I have that selected. If that happens, just double click on the screen once you've got that tool equipped. Control J. Drag it underneath. And then blending options. Get rid of the gradient. Add a color. Click on that. Darker shade. You guys know what to do. And then you just go ahead and um, draw all the gaps up. So uh, I'm going to time lapse this again. Every song, every dream filled with help from beyond. As I'm sinking, I relive the story. Every try, every breakthrough, and every cry. As I'm sinking, I relive the story. Okay, there we go. Our text is kind of done. Just hold control and move them up so that they're closer together. And then what we're going to do is hit the new layer here and then drag it above both a copy, clipping mask, rasterize laser style, get your brush tool, hardness to zero, change your size to whatever you want, set this to black, and then you just want to do some shading to make it, um, you know, look all good. So um, do it in the places where it's relevant the most. What you want to do is on the clipping mask, oh god that wasn't it. See, you guys can't make this mistake. Make sure you have the clipping mask equipped. Anyways, turn the opacity down. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down like that. And uh, I, I think I might draw along every single bottom of all the letters just to make it look good. There we go. Um, I'm gonna turn the opacity down again a bit more. There we go. And then I'm gonna draw inside these letters as well where it looks good. Uh, might add a bit there. Uh, some in here definitely, um, maybe a bit in there, and uh, you know maybe a bit on them as well. So then what you want to do is go ahead and turn the opacity down a bit more, and you should have some uh, cool little shading. Now you want to click another layer, make that clipping mask, drag it above simulator copy, make simulator copy a rasterize, and um, then you just want to do the same with simulator. And then turn the opacity down. Okay, so that that's not too uh, good shading. I can normally do better than that, but like I said, I'm speedrunning because it's a video. Now you want to get your vector, and um, you just want to um, place it wherever you want. In this instance, I think I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to hold control on all of these things. And just move them down a bit there we go right I think I'm gonna add a stroke to all these texts so just um, merge them together so that they're grouped um, there we go so we got simulator merge add a stroke 15 is fine that's what I normally have it on add another one and um, now this looks pretty good we need to add uh, this vector here and I'm gonna get another vector. I am gonna get this. Um, hmm, what should I get? I'm gonna get this party hat right here. I'm gonna get it, import it in, then I'm gonna turn it that way and uh, rotate it like that. I might actually just put this on the text instead. Yeah, that actually looks better than the cake. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this hat. Uh, it's not really centered though, that's the thing. Okay, right, I'm gonna um, put that, move that down a bit more. Um, is that centered? I mean, it's all right. Blending options, stroke. Uh, yeah, we might as well add a stroke to it. Then get your shape tool, click on the background then draw a shape where you think it's relevant just across the birthday text uh blending options color overlay black and then do the same with the simulator text then any more gaps you see just draw a shape over them as well And 
and there we go birthday simulator so that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like and subscribe this isn't the best logo i've seen uh not i've seen i've made uh if you guys want some more logos um you can remember hire me on fiverr if you go to this logo one here as you can see these are some more of the logos i've made i made this one and this one starts at five dollars um four pounds 29 and uh this this i in my opinion i know this sounds a bit like oh i love myself but um look i i think these are pretty good logos uh you can choose the package uh four pound 29 8 pound 59 12 pounds um that's actually normal for a logo anyways go check it out you can change the delivery time and get the psd file and stuff anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll leave all these links in the description peace peace